Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, I will be talking about a medium type problem called subset second. This is a series of problems called subset, and it is the second problem of that type. Okay, so its index is 90, and uh, this problem basically requires the that is you must know the concept of subset, how it is going to be generated, and what is the best way to generate that. Note that we can generate the subsets uh, by using recursion. Also, we are going to generate the subsets using bit mask. How we are going to do that? Let's understand this one. And before moving further, we are going to understand this problem statement in a simpler way. Given an integer array nums that may contain duplicates, return all possible subsets, that is the power set. The solution set must not contain duplicate subsets. That is, if two subsets are actually the same subset, we are going to account for only one case. Okay, and return the solution in any order. Okay, suppose we have this element, how the subsets are going to be generated. I'm going to explain that in detail for now. Let's look over the constraints. You can see that the array length is only 10. So the value is very small. So it basically indicates that we have to do the brute force technique, find out all possible subsets and pick up those subsets which contain like uh, we need to consider only the distinct subsets. Okay, and uh, this nums of i here we have, it doesn't matter that what nums of i will be. Uh, we need to focus upon the array length, which is 10, we need to generate all the subsets. Okay, so let's move further to first understand how we are going to generate subsets and what could be the best solution to solve this problem. So let's move further. So the very first way that uh, that is the very first thing that we need to understand is like uh, what is the number of subsets of an array of size n. So there are like uh, okay so let's first talk about total number of subsets okay total subsets so total subsets will always be equal to 2 raised to the power n note that we have to account for an empty subset like if we have n as the size of this array then we can choose uh, nc0 like we are not going to choose any element then we are going to choose nc1 then we are going to choose nc2 and like it goes on up to n c n i think yeah so this is actually uh, like uh, 2 raised to the power n uh, let me re recheck it out if uh, n is like 3 then what will happen like 3 c 0 is 1 3 c 1 is like 2 sorry 3 and 3 c 2 is again 3 and 3 c 1 is again sorry 3 c 3 is actually 3 c 1 it is again 1 you can see 6 plus 2 is coming out to be 8 and 2 c 3 sorry 2 raised to the power 3 is also 8 so it is valid so the thing is like uh, if you, we have to account for total subsets we are generally going to do 2 raised to the power n but uh, one thing that should be noted upon here is like this can contain like uh, one type of subset occurring one or more times like suppose uh, in this case if you generate all the subsets all the subsets are going to like have some unique parameter like uh, if you want to have those subsets like you can see it is empty then you will have one then you will have two and then you will have three like i'm generating all these subsets then you will have uh, one comma two then you will have one comma three and also you will have two comma three and this entire array you can see that all the subsets are what distinct and like pairwise distinct you can easily say but what about when we introduce some like uh, we are going to introduce some element which are already occurring in this array in that case we are going to encounter some same subsets like uh, okay so let's understand this in a very simpler manner suppose we have some another array where there is a repeating element you can see 2 is repeating and it has the frequency in this array as exactly 2 so if you generate this subset you can easily find that we have some empty and we have some 1 then we have some 2 like I am going to have 2 raised to the power 3 subsets now considering like we are not going to consider only distinct subsets ok then we will have again 2 then we will have 1 2 then again we will have 1 2 and then we, we will have 2 and 2 and then the entire array. you can see that there are total 8 subsets for this array of size n now the thing is like if you focus it upon like this and this are repeating so we are not going to take both of them and this and this are also repeating then discard this one now we are done 
so total six subsets are distinct you can easily say now if you are going to just have the like brute force technique you can do the recursion like thing but uh, i am going to use some bit set concept okay now the thing is like we are going to iterate over like uh, we are going to say we are going to iterate over let's say mask mask is exactly varying from 0 and it goes up to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 okay so this minus 1 is like down over here so if we are at n equal to 3 we are going to start from 0 up to 7 right so we are going to represent this array with the help of mask set bits how we are going to do that so let's say uh, at a particular position let's say we are at mask equal to 6 and here n is 3 in this case you are going to have a binary representation like uh, 1 1 and it is 0 I think yeah this is the binary representation of this array so if you focus upon this representation of this number 6 you can easily observe that uh, the set bit exactly equal to 1 that is the bits that are set uh, is exactly denoting that I am going to take this element into my subset Okay, so if I am going to take this element into my subset that is 1 and 2, this is the particular subset that I am talking it about. And similarly, if you iterate from mask equal to 0 and up to 2 raised to the power n minus 1, both inclusive, then you are going to have all the subsets because what is the total number of range that, that is, what is the total number of values that I am iterating for? From 0 up to the 2 raised to the power n minus 1, which is exactly 2 raised to the power n values. So if mask is 0, which is actually denoting that I am not going to take any of the element. So if mask is 1, you can see that we have the array representation as like binary representation as this one. So if it is this one, we are going to say yes, I am going to include only one element that is this one. And if it is like uh, you can see 0, 1, 0, which is actually the mask equal to 2, I am going to say I am including this element. So if uh, I am going to say I am going to talk about this code that is mask equal to 4 I am always talking about this element so if I am talking about mask equal to 5 I am saying that I am including this one and this one you can notice the set bits okay so the basic approach is like start mask equal to 0 and it goes up to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 and uh, find out which bits are set and if a particular bit is set include that uh, like include that value from this array and which is your subset and you need to maintain a like uh, find out the distinct subsets how you are going to do that you are going to have a set you are going to use an efficient data structure set of multi set set of multi set int okay we are going to use this data structure oh, okay so this was the one of the method i don't think this method is like a good one but still I have done that is the very first time when I have done this question I have used this concept because this was like I was focusing uh, I was focusing on how to get uh, all test cases passed so this was the basically approach set multi set int this uh, okay so this variable rest now you can see n is the nums dot size the st start iterating mask equal to 0 from up to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 and every time increment your mask now take this multi set as the temporary variable now temporary multi set okay so i trade up to n times and check the bit is set or not if it is set include in the multi set and finally push back or not saying as push back insert into the set rest which is actually storing the distinct ones and finally output the like distinct subsets okay so this was the approach so let's talk about another approach which is actually the best one 4ms and we'll have some less memory how we are going to do that efficiently let's understand that okay so we are talking about the another approach let's talk about this array now we can generate all the distinct subset from an empty subset keeping in mind that all the subsets are distinct okay for this case you need to ensure that the array initially must be in sorted form so that we are going to count the frequencies of same element as fast as possible okay so how we are going to generate all those subsets uh, with, like all the subset must be distinct okay so let's start from an empty subset now the thing is like if uh, for next subset we need to encounter this element now we have one now for this one we need to ensure that we we are going to add this to, to all those subset which have already occurred like two and uh, okay like two and we have one and two 
now when we encounter when we take care for this two you can easily say that i need to put to this one so it would become like two this one and this and this other repeating ones that is this subset two has already occurred so we need to avoid that so the very best way to avoid that is uh, okay so count the same number of frequencies like same number of elements as f like we have these two amount of twos and these are the same elements we are going to first find out the frequency of such same elements okay and how this is going to help us let's understand that for now let's assume that we have already find all the subsets up to this element one so we will have the subset as an empty subset and the subset containing the one now what we are going to do is we are going to have let's say we have the frequencies of all those same elements as f and now here f s2 then now what we are going to do is process every element that we have already found as subset one by one that is first i'm going to deal this an empty subset and now frequency is two and we are going to put up one by one element one by one that is uh, first pick up only one two so it would become as only this subset then pick up these two elements so we have these two like uh, we have this and this okay so we are, we are going to pick up one two and add this to this one or we are going to pick up all those twos and add this to this one so it would become like this so this is our answer is still yet okay now again what i am going to process this subset now okay and still we are going to do this one pick up one two and add to this one so what will happen is like we have the subset as one and two and again pick up the whole two and add it to this subset so what we have like uh, one two and two you can see that if you focus upon we have total exactly six distinct subset which is our answer okay now extending this to a next step like suppose we have one more two over here then what will have then what we will have to do in this case like we are going to have a like uh, fs3 like uh, this one and we have one more two over here so what we are going to do is like uh, pick up this two and add it to this one then pick up this entire two and add it to this one and pick up this entire two like entire three times two and add it to this one so we will have like this subset this subset and another subset like this one this one and this one okay and uh, like for this case also i am going to do the same thing so this one and so one more subset is going to be added like this one so in this case we have, we will have like all those distinct subsets and this is the very best way that you are going to do each time pick up all those same elements and let f be the frequency of that same elements process the first i elements for those same elements and add it to all those subsets which have already found that and this is the correct way and each and every time you are going to process all those distinct same elements one time that is the reason why i have sorted this array initially so let's head over to the code to understand this problem in the best possible way so first sort the elements sorting elements uh, like we are going to have an advantage to count the same number of elements as fast as possible now you can see that this is the answer that i am going to store iterate over all the events now pick up a particular j as i and iterate up to nums of i is exactly equal to nums of j that is the elements are going to have same now we can focus upon it upon that we have the count number of same elements that is matching with nums of i now current size is answer dot size and this is basically the current number of subsets type of subset that we have already found now p is 0 and iterate over all those subsets that we have already found and pick up any one subset and every time pick up only one times of current element like uh, current element is nums of i or pick up two times of current element pick up three times of current element so on up to count is less than equal to c and t c and t is basically like number of same elements okay so current dot push back this amount also answer dot push back the current subset okay so also after finding all those similar you need to jump i to uh, next index which is j minus 1 okay and finally return the answer so this will give you all test cases fast okay so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video